insane. Just thank God it. that the pilot did what he could to not hit a house. I mean, I don't know why he why he crashed short, but so March fifth, twenty twenty three, we're in Long Island. You can see we have this aircraft down. A sad one here. One did not make it, two were in critical condition and had to be flown out to the hospital. You can see it's in these homes here. The firefighters are going to do their best to get on scene, establish command, and go ahead and start putting water on the fire. They're going to pull hand lines, as you can see there. And it's uh, they want to try to protect exposures as well. And uh, some of it looks like it's not really impacting the homes. But very close. You can see the boats there. And then also get those uh, on board extricated out. And then you can see they use the AFFF foam here. They got their hand lines out. Good to see all the first responders here. Medics as well. So this is where it happened. The Republic Airport. And they said it was trying to return after apparently they had smoke in the cockpit on Sunday, 3 p.m. It was a Piper PA-28, tried to return to the airport, and there's the residential area, and they said it was near a train tracks as well. So I believe it was probably in this area. So the aircraft is completely destroyed, and it's a fire, and I see people around it. I think they're trying to help them out. So close enough to the airport where the tower could see, firefighters pretty much got, got the fire out. Um, ARF is on scene. This is a Oshkosh Striker, 1,500 gallons of water, about 200 gallons of foam on this one. And then here the municipal fire engines as well. So very sad one. Condolences to the family in New York. And if you want to see more firefighter breakdowns, you can go ahead and watch it here. This is our from County. See you guys next time.